Paramount Chief of Bombali and Tonkolele District have expressed thanks and appreciation to His Excellency President Dr. Julius Manabiu and his government for judiciously and speedily investigate the matter involving Professor Dr. Philip John Kanu, the Vice Chancellor and Principal of the Military Magai Technical University, during which he was exonerated and reinstated. At a well-attended ceremony held at the Julius Madabio Community Center at Mamanki Village in Bombali Sabura Chiefdom, Bombali District, speaker after speaker catalogued the development project undertaken by Professor Dr. Philip John Kanu as a provision of water supply and electricity to solar panels, construction of road linking its villages in the community, the church, an appeal for more development projects like a market. All the projects undertaken by Professor Philip John Kanu have had an economic impact on the lives of the people. They also disclosed that cholera outbreak was rampant in the community due to lack of safe drinking water. While speaking in an interview on behalf of his colleagues, the Honorable Paramount Chief by Shabura Kashanga II of Bambali Shabura, Chiefdom, Bambali District, disclosed that although Professor Philip John Kanu was born in the district, some people do not know his words affirm that he have become a national and international asset that people will continue to fight him so that he will not succeed and that only prayers will save him from his opponent. He continued that this is the biggest time for them as their son, Professor Philip John Kanu, has paved his own way to start on and has shot supporting other people, especially his community, that although change is permanent, it is difficult to accept and recall the dismay state of the Miltimagai Technical University that has been transformed to an enviable position within three years, underscoring that it is quality leadership that transforms an institution creating Miltimagai Technical University and the Ernest Abai Koroma University. I've been there from the initial way he planned for can do all what he will do. See, so this church, the the water system, the barrier, everything. Philip he always confided in me. He said, Uncle Nadis I want to do. Uncle Nadis I want to do. He not just stop there. He says, since not to just Mamanki, since not to Mamanki part of there. He said, I also want the small, small light then at the other areas then. He give light to Pit Banner, he give light to Magole and Rupolo, all the inside they get small, small. And then when we come for can commission there, I know we know what in there. So first that they work and see, I felt so overwhelmed. That I make we that thank you no more to government, thank you to God, and thank you to him, the Professor Philip. We wash your hand proper. You go eat with gentry people. Yeah, na ya na area na be seat of cholera. Because we see the stream, na dry, don't dry. Na ya them they get water. Pin and for lay sink before people they drink. And so any side you they read about cholera, this, this, that and so. But today, the people of Mamanke, if you feel proud past Makeni, because Makeni, first you able to get water, now you come back before you get an official. Otherwise you strain you go to it, but yeah. Then by a today, today self, say what don't happen to me. I'm not too feel bright. I get on the left. But when I just feel for use the gents. I go, I see an open tap, I see a flush, I say yes, I don't miss McKinney, I don't miss the home. So Professor Kanu, the government, I for say thank you no more. The youth leader, Mustafa Kaloko, exalted the virtues of Professor Philip John Kanu in transforming their community and appeal for scholarship for the poor as well as job for youth and commended him for always visiting them, especially during the rainy season when things are very difficult for them. Well, uh, first of all, the road facility you not know, too okay, one. And we get some youth that will be sitting, they don't learn, they don't sit to us, but like, finance no day for letting them go to college. But this will be that we become, we will lack water facility, you know, being there with air. But this will be that we, Dr. Philip, we come, 
it provides water facility for the community. It try connect connect the roads. Then some road them be bad. Water be they run through the road. It try it make drainage. All these nine community villages that we did in this community. It try to light solar light. We be say each and every area. It pin solar light then they. So now some of the development that this way, Dr. Philip don't do. Professor Philip John Kano, in an interview, thanked the Paramount Chiefs for supporting him and also for acknowledging and appreciating all the things he has done for his people. Professor Philip John Kano also went on to state that all the development strive taken by him was supported by HE President Dr. Julius Madabio and the government of Sierra Leone. Well, we do, we do solar light them through so many supports. We, we get, a, get good friends them, we support for put solar light them and villages them, we light no day. Because in as much as uh, the government don't really try to increase the level of uh, accessibility of light, but then other villages them still not get it. So we decide to take up a project for put solar light them, we now they picking and study now. I don't do well. The other village, oh, they go do then they say, go can make another 29 villages. Oh, we don't do solar light them. We don't do road. Road we don't link up up to six villages to the main trunk road through the RMFA, the road maintenance fund, and then put that money there for make that road there. We also don't do water. If you go now this village, if you you go around Namamanki, you go see say pump water there. there. We throughout the year and they get water and water is a man major problem where the village but they really they suffer all the years them they don't they get cholera and they get so many problems them the century because they can go get water in a place the way the place not clean so when I come because I am a grandpa come out as he say this is a major need I go talk to president president talk to Salwako at that time the one man been dead when I Joseph uh, Munda Sandy now then talk to. Now he can't make this project here it happen. So now that makes today the people and say, no, we pick them where they are the round so now we gather all the prominent chiefs them for let them know say this will pick in not just all this position, but in all them, it also make sure say we when I we born them, you not forget we. Highlight of the event we are the procession of dignitaries and football teams from the church to the community center, the offering of prayers for continued success of Professor Dr. Philip John Kano, the President and the Government, traditional singing, dancing and cultural performance. For Star TV News in Freetown, I am George Elliot Sam reporting.